Hi, this is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools. Today we're using Texa IDC5. We're on version 14.5. And we're connecting to a Honda 2011 BF225A. So we're going to select Outboard. We'll go to Honda Marine. And we'll scroll through the models and find our BF225A. And select that. On the left hand side you'll see the wiring diagrams and technical data sheets. You can get to those right there. Uh, we'll hit gas injection. We'll go over here to the film strip and that'll give us the cables we need to use and a little video where to find a connector on the engine. And so we'll go ahead and hit start. And we want self-diagnosis. We'll hit confirm. And the little prompt's going to ask you to make sure the key's on. I'll go ahead and hit confirm again. Okay, so the first page is going to pop up is the, is the fault code page. Um, we don't have any on this engine right now. And we'll go ahead and select the parameters and we'll run through these. Uh, if you want to see this graph, you just double click it. Um, we'll go ahead and move the throttle so you guys can see that graphed out. And then to close it out, you're just going to double click it again. Okay, so we'll scroll down through these. Uh, the engine is not running right now. We just have the key on. And uh, you can see what the software is reading off the ECM. There's your total running time, idle running time. Okay, so let's select the status icon. We'll scroll through those real quick. And we'll select the ECU info icon. We'll run through that. Your activations. This is where you're going to be able to do your cylinder cutouts, check your engine history. Just move right into that. And then confirm. That'll pull it up in a nice graph right here. So scroll down. And you can see where those hours are on those RPM ranges for the engine. Okay, so if you hit cancel, it's going to ask you if you want to print. We don't want to print, so we're going to hit cancel again. I'm going to run through these rest of the activations here. So engine coils, your injectors. We'll go ahead and test an injector. And you confirm. You want to hit 2 to activate. When you hit activate, you're going to hear that injector start clicking. And it'll tell you when that test is done. Uh, your VTEC solenoid valve, we'll run through that. Real easy, hit confirm. So it'll tell you the engine must be off the key on. I'm going to hit 1 for activate. And that little clicking noise, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to hit confirm. Okay. There's your settings, your control unit reset, engine variant, writing the engine serial number, and the new engine incidents. When you click on that, it's going to give you step-by-step -step what to do. Okay, so this little icon, that's where you can also get to your technical documentation. Here's your acronyms dictionary, your system sheets. We'll go ahead and hit select that one. This will give you a little information on the poor engine performance, no error diagnosis, and some information, some pictures. Okay, we'll select the vehicle sheets. It's going to give you information on the buzzer sound without errors. And then last we'll go to the wiring diagrams. So we'll select that engine. You see as you hover over those lines that's going to give you the information on that circuit and where that circuit's running. Uh, if you go to this icon here that's going to give you the component list whether there's an image or a card on that component. Uh, if you're not sure on the wires you can hit that diagram key icon that's going to give you that information. Okay, so we'll close out of that. Um, this is a 2011 BF225A. This is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools. Thanks for watching.